Hey guys, welcome to your uh, bi-weekly love reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the weeks of February 2nd through the 16th, 2020. So I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. And I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they give you some clarity. Um, also, if you want to book your own personal or private reading, you can email me. Um... But payments are and orders are collected on Fridays. And if you want to reach me by phone, that's a separate process. So um, make sure that you're subscribed so that you can get the notifications when I'm taking those calls. So let's go ahead and get started here. We have the central issue, Heart of the Matter, as the Five of Cups. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Hanged Man, Eight of Cups, Four of Wands, Princess of Wands, who has been in almost everybody's reading, and the Six of Cups. So what fire sign is out there looking at all the readings? All right, so um, Central Issue... You invested a lot of time and energy into your love life or a person or yourself. There was something that you've been doing. I feel like you were patient. Um, I feel that maybe you had direction and you were inspired. Something you were feeling motivated and inspired. And then something happened. Um, where you feel like you these aren't the results that you were expecting. This isn't what you thought things would turn out to be. Um, maybe you plan to approach someone and when you approach them, it just went very awry. Maybe um, something happened in your relationship where you guys were, you know, establishing something together. And it, it fell apart. Maybe you guys were trying to um, start your own business. Maybe something took a toll on the relationship. Mm, maybe you were content with being single and then something happened and you just felt like, oh my God, like, <laughs> I don't like being single or I'm, I, I regret breaking up or you know moving on or I don't know just something's going on where you're grieving now like the the central issue mainly looks like you're grieving over something from the past or feeling like uh, you made a mistake and you're asking yourself what did I do or what not what if what have I gotten myself into now, if this isn't your energy, it could be how someone feels about you. Like maybe they're somewhere just kind of like, oh, my God, what did I do? I miss them. Um, what if I had done this? Could things have gone differently? And I'm also getting someone who has short, curly hair. Um, now, I feel like someone is or your situation may be placed on time out. Like you may be putting yourself on time out because you need to get some clarity um, or there you just need to see something from a different perspective. And again, with this image here, there is something happening in the background, but you're unaware of it. You are unaware of what's getting ready to manifest. You may be doing a lot of meditating You also maybe feel like you're stuck in between two places. You're like, I don't know if you feel like you can't win for losing. I'm getting the feeling of feeling uh, the feeling of isolation, just being isolated and alone. And even man, I feel like maybe someone is walking away from you but you're not doing anything about it or you are the one walking away from someone but they're not doing anything about it they're not pursuing you they're not telling you to stop or wait 
they're just like, go on, I understand. Like, I, I understand if you have to go. I understand if you don't want to be together. Um, man. Yeah, someone feels that emotionally something's missing. So it looks like if you were dealing with someone that there's some sort of separation or breaking up. If you're single, I feel like you are having some sort of pity party. You are thinking about the past. I don't know what happened to make you feel this way. It may be that you saw you saw some a couple and realized that you want to be in that type of relationship where two people are working together. But something happened. I don't know. It's... Hmm. Someone is feeling like they made the wrong decision or the wrong choice because it looks like you had a choice here with the two of wands. And you felt like maybe you, you thought and planned out this decision really good. But then it's like, no, I made the wrong choice. I made a mistake. Man, um... So someone might be moving out. I don't know if you're moving out or if your partner is moving out, but it does look like we're saying goodbye and we're moving on and people are starting starting things on their own. This may even be a situation where someone is getting left behind, left mm, Someone feels left behind. Someone feels uh, abandonment. Especially if it's a weird situation where they left you for someone else. Or you are leaving someone for someone else. There's someone else I feel like that makes you happier. You're going to hear from someone from your past. You feel like this is someone who feels like home. This is your soulmate. You're like, this is where I belong. And this is probably why you didn't fight for someone because you you felt that something was missing. So you didn't try to stop them from leaving. You're like, go ahead. Um, or, you know, this person, if you're the one that left, this is why they're not fighting for you because they already know. They're like, we don't belong together. <sighs> I feel like I feel like you were looking for someone or someone was looking for you like you guys were waiting for each other. Someone was waiting for you to leave. Someone is like we should be together, but we can't be together until they leave that situation. And it looks like someone finally leaves the situation. They're like, "Okay, I'm free. I'm liberated. We're not together anymore." Um so I, I do feel like for some of you, if you're single, the person coming towards you is coming out of a sad situation. Like they left their home. They left something behind that they cared about, but they, they just w weren't happy anymore. And they couldn't hold on even though they tried to. I feel like they tried to see something from a different perspective. Um... They tried to be fair. They wanted to be honorable and do the right thing. But ultimately, they just were not happy. And so I feel like this person is walking away from that situation. And there is this, like I said, there's this reunion of sorts. Somebody's been waiting for you or you've been waiting for them. I feel like someone was trying to fight the past or prevent something from happening. Hmm. If you are going through some sort of difficult time, I feel like spirit is saying that you have the strength to endure this difficult time. Like you're very resilient. You always bounce back. Hmm. 
Yeah, I keep getting that energy of I'm sorry, but it's just not working out or it's not you. It's me type of energy going on with you guys there. I feel like you're trying to fulfill some sort of emptiness or some sort of void. Um, maybe you even have a hard time finding fulfillment, like it's hard to please or satisfy you. Um Mm, yeah, I feel like you're looking for that old feeling. You're like, I want to feel like that deep connection again. I want to feel, I want to connect with that person that I had a, a connection with in childhood or uh, from your past. Like, that's another thing. If you don't know this person who returns to you or who's coming towards you rather, then this is, is the energy is going to be very familiar. Like it feels like you've known this person all your life or like you've shared some past lives together because there's a sense of home. There's a sense of uh, trust and comfort. And I feel like you it wasn't fulfilled in a previous relationship. If you're the one walking away from the relationship, I feel like you just felt unfulfilled. And it's like I have to find that missing piece of the puzzle. I had to find that fulfillment. Even if you are willing to be alone for a while, you're like, I'm okay with being alone. I don't have to be with anyone right now. I just need to find myself. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you are also having some sort of identity crisis. Like you don't know what you want or who you are or where you belong. Um, I feel like whenever you feel like that, you start trying to focus on your work or you start trying to focus on just yourself in general. You're like, I'm not going to think about this. I'm not about to uh, be crying or feeling bad. I got to get myself up out of this. So I feel like if you start grieving anytime within the next couple of weeks, you're, you're trying to pull yourself out by getting back focused on your finances, career, um, or just some sort of personal grooming like maybe you start going to the gym or maybe you decide you want to change your diet like you might start doing things to create a positive of environment for you, yourself um some of you also might be establishing see it's weird because i see two things i see a, a separation or a breakup or something that comes to an end but I also see something new being established. So that's why I said for some of you, it's like one someone is leaving. They decided that they can't stay in the relationship that they were in. So they leave so that they can move forward um, with you. Unless, you know, the stories could be reversed. Hmm. But I'm also getting the energy of someone saying... I'm not ready to be in a relationship just, just yet. I just want to be on my own, but I do want to see my soulmate. I don't mind taking my time and getting to know my soulmate, um, but I'm not going to rush into it. I feel like there is this new beginning. There's a new opportunity. You guys, I'm getting like so many mixed messages here. It's like, do you want to be alone or don't you? One minute you're, you know, focused. The next minute you're grieving about something that came to an end. I even feel like something is short lived, like you find some sort of temporary happiness and then you're back feeling bad again. I feel like also someone may reach out to you, but you choose to delete them or not respond. I feel like you are clean clearing your energy your cleaning house i feel like you're getting or trying to get rid of a lot of old energies that just does not fit in with your life anymore you're trying to find happiness within yourself first i think um i do feel like you will find happiness or you will find a sense of inner peace and once you are healed, then you're going to be aligned with another person who is also healed. 
So I feel like two healed people will be coming together. Now, also, this could have been some some past energy. Like I'm I'm picking up on what you've been through in the past, and now two people who have undergone some sort of pain of separation, uh, they've done the 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 healing and the self work. So now you guys are coming together. So that could be the other thing if you're single. Like maybe this person has a similar background. The both It took a, a long time for the both of you to get over someone. But now that you are, you're, you're in each other's lives. And then I feel like you'll be able to finally lace something to rest. Some sort of old beliefs or old ideas. You'll be able to put it to rest and you're going to be happy again. So those are the messages. I hope they made sense. Uh, but feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.